I got him. There we go. There you go. Little guy. He came back. There's another one. Oh man. That's a good one. Ooh. Felt like a thumb. There it is. It was a thumb. That's a big fish. You got him. <laughs> That's a buffalo cart. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Buffalo Doors. Guys, my wife is here with me here. Um, our cat's walking around, so you might see him. My wife is with me behind the camera. Um, oh, she's grabbing the kitty cat. There's a kitty cat. Uh, my wife is here with me today. We just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. We hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Um, I just realized it's been a while since we posted. The last video we posted was a Martin Ed Rake How To video, um, which did pretty well. I was really pleased with how many views it got. So um, if you guys are looking into uh, finesse fishing and maybe starting to finesse fish and uh, using an Ed Rig, definitely go check out that video. But um, like I said, we, we didn't post anything for a while. We've been busy with our holiday season. So I hope you guys have had a Merry Christmas. And I want to wish you guys a Happy New Year. So um, when this video comes out, I'll be right before New Year's. Um, and I just wanted, real quick, um, we're going to, we have lots of cool stuff coming here in a few weeks. We're going to have a tournament announcement video kind of highlighting my decision on where I'm fishing this year, um, tournament wise, um, when those tournaments are, when they start, all that fun stuff. Let me just say this, guys, I really miss tournament fishing. I can't wait for it to be back. I've had a great time uh, deer hunting this year, um, but I, I really can't wait for tournament fishing to be back. So definitely looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be our next video is going to be um, that. But we got lots of cool stuff coming here in January. We're going to have a new series called Countdown to October, um, just kind of showing um, you know what we're what, what it takes to, to have a good successful deer season. Like I said, this is my first year deer hunting. Um, we were kind of rushed this year with some stuff. This year, Ted and I are really hitting it hard. And we got a plan already in place, kind of what we're doing where. We've got maps laid out, all sorts of fun stuff like that. But um, what I wanted to do to close 2020 out, though, um, is to go ahead and just have, like, a best moments recap of 2020. Um, we've had a lot of fun moments this year, some on camera, some not. Um, and I just went through and I found my three uh, top favorite uh, moments from this year with one honorable mention um, that we'll talk about later. So it was really hard. Um, as I started kind of looking through it, though, there were three that were all captured on camera, luckily. All four of these actually were captured on camera. Um, three that were captured on camera, though, um, that'll be fun um, just to share with you guys real quick. Um, like right now, we just packed all my camping stuff up for the year. We got it all put away. We're kind of behind and kind of going through my fishing stuff right now. But um, starting off, moment number three, um, as I told you guys earlier, this was my first year tournament fishing. Um, I fished the FLW VFL circuit in the Alina Division. Um, I had a really good year, had a lot of fun, um, but this first moment, this number three moment, um, came back in August on the Ohio River. It was our fourth tournament stop. It was uh, We had two tournaments back-to-back -to -back days, uh, Saturday, Sunday, um, and this was the day two, so it was two separate tournaments, but stop number four on the Ohio River, and we finished in seventh place, um, cutting a top ten and getting a nice check out of it. Um, so like I said, I'm going to roll the film from the tournament. Um, coming in at number three, our seventh place finish at the Ohio River. Brother-in-law and 10,000 acres up in South Dakota, and he's a big deer hunter. And... Yeah. It's number two. Thanks. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yo! There you go, buddy. Let's go. That'll help my cause. We're giving us the uh, permit to have our tournament this weekend. Like I said, we had back to back events. We had a tournament yesterday. We had great weather. We got a little. Thunderstorm approaching us right now, but I believe we're going to be okay. Rochester, Illinois, coming to Neil Ferris. Three bass in the bag for Neil. Neil, your three bass going to take the lead. Four pounds, nine ounce, four nine for you, Neil. Thanks, 
sir. Thank you. Out of St. Charles, Missouri, motor Chris Randall with three bass. Hold them up a little bit. Bring it this way. Now on the non motor side, 849 of Rochester, Illinois, Nils Ferris. Yep, thank you. Eighth place. How about that craziness? Woo! So, guys, that was a great moment. Um, just a little backstory on that moment. Uh, hadn't caught a fish all year uh, up until that tournament. It'd been a grind. The tournaments have been pushed way back because of uh, um, the pandemic and stuff like that. And so we were fishing these tournaments in really tough conditions right at the beginning, the middle of the heat of the summer. Um, so it, should, it felt really good not only to catch some fish, but to finish seventh. And um, the bait that helped me do that is this guy right here. This is a Ned Rig on a fourth ounce um, Mag Shrooms head. Um, as you guys know, I've really been finesse fishing a lot. Um, here's my rod. This is my favorite rod that ended up being this year is the Enigma. Um, the Titanium, the Phenom Titanium Gen, Gen 2 Series. Um, this is their 611 medium fast action. This is my favorite Ned Rig rod. Um, absolutely in love with it. But yeah, this little guy right here really changed our season and uh, turned it around. So definitely go check it out. Z-Man is an awesome, um, awesome product. We make an awesome product. Guys, definitely not gonna wanna miss it. Now, on to moment number two. Moment number two um, was kind of, I had a hard time choosing between this and what ended up being the number one moment. They were both really close, um, but I went ahead and decided to put this one too. So like I said, we hadn't caught a fish until stop number four. We only had five stops this year. Um, and the next one was Shelbyville. And I found out I had a chance at qualifying for the regional. And what the regional is, they take the top 45 anglers from each division and they advance to a regional. At the beginning of the year, after a couple tournaments where I really struggled, I didn't think I even had an opportunity um, you know, to make it as a co-angler. So, uh, I went into Shelbyville, I was in 72nd place um, in points, I think, 72nd. I had to jump up 27 spots, and some guys I really um, trust within the division had been telling me, hey, you're going to make it if you can have a solid finish, um, catch just one or two fish. And I thought that sounded crazy, um, but I went in with that mentality. I wanted five, but I knew if I could just get one or two nice bites, um, I, could, I could make it. So our number two moment is qualifying and fishing the FLW Regional. Um, after the tough start of the season we had to come back, come roaring back. Um, in this clip you'll see we catch a nice fish at Shelbyville. We actually caught several fish at Shelbyville, but caught one nice keeper, helped us advance into the regional, and then we had a really good uh, showing in the regional. Great first day, had me in striking distance of a check, but uh, the second day just didn't work out. Um, I had some adjustments I should have made that I didn't. Looking back on now, I wish I had. So um, definitely, definitely uh, something just that been in the back of my mind since then. But, Coming in at number two, qualifying and fishing, the FLW Regional. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna blink. What? I said I'm not gonna blink. Hey guys, what is up? Update, I did end up qualifying for the Regional. I finished 42nd in points. Gets me in the cut. Didn't even have to wait to see if anybody dropped out. Um, and after Mary and I talked it through, I am going to be able to go. So I will be going to the regional um, at Lacrosse um, here in just a few weeks, actually, a um, couple weeks from now. But guys, I'm really excited. We're going to be camping overnight, to save a little money. So you guys are going to come along with me with, while I do that. I'm really excited. I got all my gear ready to go. There's one. Boom. Thanks, man. Got one. That thing's nuts. Let me get over here so I got the oh. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Nine ounce on day one for Neil. One in a bag today. Two, three for a total weight of 10, 12. Thank you, Neil. Thanks, sir. 
So guys, that is a great, that's, those are two great moments, um, two of my favorite from this year, uh, obviously. Real quick, before we, re we reveal number one though, I want to go over our honorable mention um, for the year. Like I said, we had a lot of fun moments from this year, and the tournament fishing with being my first year, just how well we ended up doing um, in the second half of the season, really kind of took over some other moments I've been having. But this moment, um, this guy right here is going to take a big part in that. This is the Enigma Atomic 29 Cranky Series Rob with my ECAST reel, and on there, as you guys can see, Z-Man, Jackhammer Chatterbait with a Strike King Twin Grub Menace as a trailer. Um, that's going to play a big uh, big role. And then also in this moment, this honorable mention moment, is this little dude right here. This is my flipping stick. I did not have a D-Bomb on that day. I did not have my D-Bombs with me. Um, but uh, I, I, I made some new connections this year, and there's a guy that I met um, this year. He's one of my bosses at my job at the church. Um, has a pond. And he invited me out to come fish it whenever I wanted, when I was, was whenever I'm in town. And so my first time going out, guys, I catch these two giant fish. This was right during the spawn. I caught them both right up on the bank. Um, the first one was probably a five, five to six pounder. It was a real nice fish. Absolutely hammers this chatterbait right on the shore. I thought I was going to lose her because I, I didn't have a lot of, I mean, she hits it right in front of me. Um, it was an awesome moment just to watch her slam this bait and it actually catch her. She was a great fish. And then the second one you're going to see, I, I hook um, right next to this dock and she ends up getting all the wooden stuff and coming off. And I ended up flipping in there a couple more times and finally got her to bite. She went back into the timber, was able to pull her out, and then I caught both these. So our honorable mention, our honorable mention moment, two big fish on the same day at this point. There's one. Ooh. Oh, Mark. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> How about that for a first fish? Hi! I know. I'm scary. How about that? Here's one. Oh, don't go under there. And that's why. Well, I don't know if I can get that one again. Oh, there he goes. He's got it. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's got a little more fight to it. That's a nice size one. Rosie. I think the fish could eat you, kiddo. That's a nice one. It's about the same size as the first one. Can I trust you not to eat this or do I need to hold it? 
<laughs> that's a nice one. That is. I thought when it hit yeah. right here, it wouldn't be very big, but that's a big one. I'm surprised it was. How deep is it right there? Yeah, it drops off. Does about it? 12, 15 okay. Feet. Rose. <laughs> All right, guys. So those were our honorable mentions. Now, coming in at number one, you guys know I love to fish. The channel's been nothing but fishing. And I told you guys I was getting into deer hunting. And this was my first year deer hunting. Like I said, I'm super stoked for next year already. We've still got a couple weeks right now um, when I'm shooting this video of deer hunting. And I haven't given up. I've got a couple more tags I want to fill. Uh, I've seen a lot of deer. I just need the, the, the stars to align. But super excited for next year. But this is my first year deer hunting. And uh, my number one moment this year was obviously our first deer ever. We got a real nice doe back at the beginning of November. Um, the video posted got some good views. But our number one moment for 2020, first doe down on the channel, first deer ever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm all tore up and I didn't have to boat back for five minutes like he did. We literally shot her like 20 yards that way. We can see our bags. She did a big loop-de-loop, -loop, and here she was. The neighbors were nice enough for us to get it. It's a big doe, man. It's a big doe. Mike, Mike and I both said she was a lot bigger than we thought she was. So, he was? Yeah. Oh my. All right, we're here. Mary hasn't seen it. Ted hasn't seen it. Here we go. Here we are. Here she is. There she is. First year. Guys, that was an awesome moment. She was a really big deer. She ended up weighing, after we field dressed her, 124 pounds, one of the biggest does that Ted or um, Mike had ever seen or ever shot. So I was really proud of that. Um, Mary and I have been loving uh, using the meat. We, we, we really have tried to use our, our disposal of our acreage that we have around us for our advantage um, and just to be good. Um, to be good keepers of what we've got. So, and like I said, I've got a couple more weeks when I get a couple more deer, and Ted and I have ginormous plans uh, for next year. We've got food plots in place. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. So like I said, be on the lookout, guys, for uh, the next couple of weeks. we got a video coming out um, of our tour, uh, fishing tour announcement, what tournaments we're gonna be fishing, when they are, where they are. We're gonna release our partners for the year. Um, we're not sponsored by anybody, but just the companies we're using and we're partnering with that I trust and believe in that are gonna help me get this done. Um, you're also gonna see the new series countdown to October. Um, it's gonna start releasing soon as you get to follow Ted and I as we prepare this land, our farm for hunting. And guys, we got so much other cool stuff coming. I can't wait. We've got Patrick, my cousin, he's our producer and a new editor on the team. Um, my wife's joined the team as a photographer. She's gonna be traveling with me all this all the year taking pictures. So guys, thank you for a great 2020. We've got merchandise coming. We got so much cool stuff coming. You guys follow my Instagram. You guys have seen pictures of the tumblers. We're working on shirt. Um, if the tumblers are out, we'll get you one today. Other than that, guys, we'll see you the next time. Thanks for tuning in. And we can't wait for 2021. Thanks, everybody. Hey, everybody. What's up? Neil. Uh, I was fighting some camera battery issues. We were running out of camera space on the battery. We were running out of time. So I was kind of pressed for time there at the end. I forgot to mention, guys, the music in this video um, is the winner of the beat battle that our producer Pat McMillan Music did on his channel. 
Um, so Sunny Nicks, thanks for the awesome track. Um, the winner got to have their track um, featured on my next video, which is obviously this one. So I um, wanted to thank Sunny for um, his awesome track. And I want to thank Pat for all he's done for the channel. Um, he's great. Um, he's going to be doing a lot of editing for us in the future as well. So um, guys, that's the music you guys heard. I've linked their stuff below. Um, go check them out. It's awesome, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in 2021.